Shy away from the spotlight, from my light, from letting my light shine. I can't waste my time hiding in the eyeshadows, waiting on supermodels to calibrate my standing. I refuse to be gerrymandered. Between districts of my northern and southern regions left grieving while the players of the Demogon Platinum Party wait on their male majority to cast popular votes on my chest or my backyard stash. No, I pass time with 1960s photographs of my dearly departed mother who rendered a whole nother meaning to the word woman. Gunning like the Panther Party's Elaine Brown holding it down with a frying pan at home. Like Evie held it down with an M16. Or should I say at 6014, the address of my youth where courting before 16 was just simply not permitted. Yep. Girls remaining committed to just books, God, and exploring their own abilities. No need for any premature relationship instability before I can start defining who's really me. Yep. Yep. And what's killing me is the number of women who define their quality by the quantity of men they let get in between. You see, I know what it means now to carry the virtue of womanhood within my soul and across my chest and in my stride and in my caress where I sometimes, where I sometimes have to stroke egos just so that he knows that even though my female DNA runs rampantly in every global civilization from Aztecs to the Aborigines, I need him to understand that biblically, biblically without him, there would be no me. Which is why I struggle to forge souls and build with him, but I can't seem to get the same kind of airplay as Lil' Kim. Cause I don't play this strip poker rap game of taking off my clothes and whether or not she knows she is beautiful. Her essence already defined by the dutiful women in history like Sojourner and Maya and Betty and Coretta and Harriet and Messiah women or the Serengeti. She and I and you are those neo-millennium Eves of Genesis. And knowing the treasures of this temple now, Y'all ain't pimping this. I will shroud myself in scripture and force you to picture the nakedness of my convictions. I will disrobe only of my inhibitions that limit me to wardrobes of Gucci and Prada and Fendi. You can never know my measurements until you know the depth of the soul within me. I leave cover girl and Cosmo and Trendy to those women and young ladies who are still searching for their identities. God has given me my light to shine, and you ain't dimming me. I can't compete with Revlon and Mac and Maybelline, cause you see what may be lean today is overweight tomorrow. <laughs> and then you are trying to borrow someone else's image, trying to scrimmage on a plain field that ain't never going to be even until you finally start believing in your light. All right. You see, well. my light, my female filament, be filling men with a new reason to respect me. To quit categorizing and subjecting me to the average booty video run the mill fantasies. Cause truth be known, ladies, if we put it out there for every man to see, we've already lost the mystery and the intrigue that God has granted us in the light of the day. And I can't pretend to be. Restate. We can't pretend to be anything that we are not. We can only use what we've got to etch our indelible mark on the face of time. We can only illuminate the shadows, PDA, as we let our lights shine.